Hey everyone, Kevin here with Guzzle H2O. Um, today in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the uh, UV unit in your Stealth. So in addition to the new UV unit, you're going to want some rags to pick up any water that spills. You're going to want a flathead screwdriver, a T20 Torx screwdriver, and a number two Phillips head screwdriver. So the first step is to unplug your Stealth from the power supply. And then next, you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver and you're gonna disconnect the water lines on your inlet and outlet push to connect fittings. So next, we're gonna remove the filter and filter housing from the stealth unit. And then using our flathead screwdriver again, we're gonna remove this 180 degree push to connect fitting. So after that's done, we're gonna take our number two Phillips head screwdriver and then we're gonna undo these uh, top four screws um, on the top of the stealth unit. So next, we're going to unplug these two wires um, in the UV unit here and just gently tug, holding as close as you can to this uh, connection here so you don't pull out the wires or anything. And then next, we're going to take our T20 Torx screwdriver and we're going to undo the screw right here. Once that's out, we're gonna take the whole unit and pull it out of the bracket. So next, we gotta take our flathead screwdriver and we're gonna undo this little blue clip, like so. And then we're gonna remove the flow sensor from the UV using the flathead screwdriver as well. Next, with our flathead screwdriver again, we're gonna remove this elbow on the top of the unit. And then this is our old one. We're gonna set that aside and then grab our new UV unit. And we're gonna reverse that exact same process. We're gonna put the elbow back on the top of the new one and then we're going to install the flow sensor onto the new uv and be sure to put the little blue clip back into the locking collar so now that i have my new uv unit assembled i'm going to go ahead and install it back into the mounting bracket I'm gonna grab my T20 Torx screw and my mounting screw, and I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it. Be sure not to over tighten this screw. It's threading only into plastic, so it's pretty easy to strip. So now that my new UV unit is installed, I'm going to go ahead and plug in these two wires.
Next, I'm gonna take the top of my filter housing and I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall that as well. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this 180 degree push to connect fitting. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put the filter and filter housing back in. After that, I'm gonna install the inlet water line the outlet water line and then I'm going to plug it back into the power source and that's everything uh, thanks for watching the video everyone uh, I hope it's helpful